as I said in my talk earlier on, we are one body because we all share in the one bread. And it's lovely this morning that Clarion and Philip and myself are together, but we're all together in our virtual community. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and good and a joyful thing, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father, almighty, everlasting God. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever say this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Holy and gracious Father, all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you, through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, whom you sent to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. We therefore bring you these gifts, and we ask you to make them holy by the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who offered himself in obedience to your will, the perfect sacrifice for all humankind. On the night he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he'd given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his friends and said, take this and eat it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he'd given thanks, he gave it to them and said, drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this whenever you drink it, for the remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. And Father, calling to mind the death your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension, his continual intercession for us in heaven, and looking for his coming again in glory, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and life-giving sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering and grant that we who eat and drink these holy gifts may be filled with your Holy Spirit and become one body in Christ and serve you in unity and constancy and peace. May he make us a perpetual offering to you and enable us in communion with St. Bartholomew, the Blessed Virgin Mary, and the whole company of heaven to share in the inheritance of your saints. With him and in him and through him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father Almighty, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Savior has taught us, so we sing and pray.
we break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body because we all share in one bread. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. This is the Lamb of God that takes away the brokenness of the world. Happy are those that are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. My sisters and brothers in Christ, draw near and receive his blood which he gave for you, his blood which he shed for you. Remember that he died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving. Please come and join us in this sacrament, this sign of the divine. We are all one in our community, wherever we might be. Fill the body of Christ, broken for you. Carry in the body of Christ, broken for you. Body of Christ. Eternal God and Heavenly Father, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love, love and serve you and all persons in you with gladness and singleness of heart through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. And may the peace of God that passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you and with all those whom you love, now and always. Amen. The Mass is over. Go in peace and have a great Sunday. Amen.